Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, my channel is all about worm composting experiments with different kinds of worms and different kinds of bins. Today we are going to take a look in on the red wiggler bin. And uh, I, I don't know what the heck I have here. We'll put that in the investigation. Some kind of beetle or worm or something. I don't know what that is. We're going to take it out out of an abundance of caution. Uh, but looking in on bin number one here, uh, we were still migrating the last time uh, because we had to re-migrate because of vacation. Uh, everything got worked over and then <laughs> the migration didn't happen. Uh, last time we were adding bedding, corn, peach, and worm chow. So I can see that the corn is sticking out here a little bit. Uh, but looking over here, let me see what we've got. Now oh, the darn worms are still not migrating. They're not migrating properly here. We might end up having to do a, uh, look at that. Not migrating. Boo! Bad worms. How often do I say that, huh? Not very often. Somebody was asking about peanut shells or um, any kind of nut shells like, you know, the people eat. I am reasonably sure these have been in here for two years. Um, peanut shells, yeah. So honestly, if, if you uh, have nice, dry, clean shells, I would uh, put them in a coffee grinder and make them into grit rather than putting them in the bin separately because uh, they do not go anywhere fast on the order of years. All right, so it doesn't look like the darn worms have done anything. These red wigglers are being resistant. Um, it has been 20 days since we've looked in here last time, and it does not look like they are migrating. So either I am not giving them cool enough food. Here's the peach pit. I think my husband said he wanted to try and grow a peach from this. Uh, okay, I'm taking it out. Uh, you can grow a tree now. Might have to Google how to do that, because I do not know. All right, so looking here, it looks like what I gave them last time has been completely consumed into castings. So again, migration fail. I am going to have to really step up my game here. So if 20 days was too much, then we're going to have to get in here a lot sooner if 20 days and they take all of that bedding and I'll put a picture of how much bedding and food I put in not quite three weeks ago um, and they have finished all of it I mean this is what I mean when I say that uh, people scraps uh, there's nothing better than the, the red wigglers in my opinion um, from what I have I have many many bins that are mixed species of reds blues and euros and uh, I'm telling you, the red wigglers are animals. They just go through the food crazy fast. So it looks like we are re, re, re-migrating. All right, so I'm gonna pull all the food out to one side here, and we are going to make a concerted effort to make a very delicious side over here, nice and sweet. But I'm gonna have to warn you, I'm doing something weird again. Or still, depending upon how you look at things. Cleaning out my cabinet, if you watched the um, the protein bin recently, you know that I, I fed something that was in my cabinet for 10 years, and I'm gonna do it again. So let me get them some bedding, and I'll show you what we're doing next. I think the red wigglers can handle it. Put it in the comments below if you believe that the red wigglers can handle anything. All right, so I'm gonna give them a big, little, you know, this is probably, I don't know, two liter. And then sweet pickles. Um, I did soak them overnight in water and drained it a couple of times to make sure that there's no salt or vinegar left sitting on them. Um, but yeah, so they're going to get pickles, leftover pickles that have been, and also beets. So pickled beets, and then pickled uh, cucumbers left from probably eight, ten years ago. Um, again, they're not bad. They're just, uh, I'm not going to eat them. In the event of a zombie apocalypse, they would be fine. So there's my opinion. 
um, as a food safety professional. In the event of zombie apocalypse, 10 year old pickles, good. Uh, no zombies, bad. Put them in the worm bin. Okay, let's get them some topping. Okay, and then just to make absolute, absolutely sure that these worms know, Mama is serious. I want you to get out of these castings. It has been like six, eight months, I think. I'll have to put the numbers below. But I'm serious, guys. Get out of the castings. Quit messing around. I've got you a whole nother bin here. Are you paying attention? Pay attention. Okay. Pill bugs, help them out. Show them the way to go. Okay, so that is bin number one. It has been the problem child. They have not wanted to migrate out of their castings. Um, they are just fussing about. I don't know what they're doing. All right, so let's go get, you know what? A little bit more bedding. Look guys, you have a whole brand new bin right here for you guys to go to. Okay, now let's find another bin. Okay, red, big, red wiggler bin. Number two, um, we did mostly new stuff here, but there was still some migrating happening. Um, and I think they also got banana and um, pizza crust and stuff like that last time. This looks like a avocado pit that's ready to go. So let's, let's move over all of that stuff and see if the worms have moved out. Oh my gosh, they're just misbehaving. They're like teenager worms. Whatever you want them to do, they're not doing. Come on, guys. Um, so again, migration fail. So we're going to hike them up over here. Hopefully this will dry out. Let's see if we've got any food left over from last time. The uh, basement is about 82 degrees. So you know what, I'm gonna take, we're gonna do the same thing we did last time. You know, if it looks like it's um, completely done, we're going to move it over since they are just being migration resistant. So all of that looks done to me. Oops, look, worm ball. Okay, you guys are not horrible worms because you are being cute in public. So it does look like some of them are migrating. So that's good. Good worms. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna move over the stuff that is done and put the stuff over here that is in progress. So these guys, did I just put, um, where did I put that worm ball? All right, never mind. I'm losing it, guys. These worms not paying attention to what I tell them to do. I just, I don't know what to do about it. All right, I'm gonna get them some more bedding. And then they are also going to get some pickles. I love pickles, which is why I, I canned a lot of them. Um, so uh, just these got lost. All right, some more bedding. And then again, the extra serious, mom is serious, get out of those castings and get over here right now or you're in trouble. Feeding. Okay. I'm trying to give them the understanding that this is a whole brand new bin and it is much, much, much better than over here. You don't want to be over there. You want to be over there with the cool kids. Okay, let me go get another bin. If you're liking this video, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you're not a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that bell icon. Okay, here we are, Red Wiggler bin. Number three. Now this was the good bin that we completely swapped out last time. So this is completely remade. So 20, 20 days ago, this was brand new bedding and brand new food. And I think they got peaches and stuff too. But look what they've done in three weeks. Woo, and a worm ball. Good worms. A little bit of a banana peel there. Good worms. But look what they've done not even three weeks and they have turned all of this bottom part into castings already these guys are just ugh, amazing i'm just not doing a good job maybe the worms the other worms weren't being bad worms maybe i'm just being a bad worm mama and not keeping up with them if they're hungry then that's my fault right 
All right, well, I'm gonna move all of this over. Is that nuts? Like, literally half of everything that I put in there, they've eaten already. It's just amazing. Um, like I said, it's 82 degrees here in the basement, 63% humidity. I'll put the Celsius equivalent on the screen for you. I'll also put pictures of what they ate last time. Um, but if you think these are the most amazing worms, give them a muddy thumbs up. Good job, worms. Okay, well, let's get them their food, too. Some bedding. And they are getting the rest of the pickles. And some bedding. They might as well get the same thing. I try and treat all three of the bins the same. I'll put the metric equivalent, but across those three bins, I have gone through probably, I think that's a, a 10 gallon container of bedding. So that is a lot, a lot of bedding. Um, but since they're, these guys have uh, started completely over, I'm gonna give them a little more. Okay, so that finishes out the 10 gallon thing of bedding that I made just for the red wigglers, because I do keep their bedding separate. All right, so this is pretty nuts. Let me know what your thoughts are on the pickles. Uh, are you freaked out by it? Is it going to be okay? Or the rud wigglers are just going to shake it off like it's another day that ends in Y. All right, guys, well, if you want to see more rud wiggler videos and the amazing things that they do, I've got a playlist right over here that you can go see. YouTube, of course, thinks you're going to like this video. And, you know, if you've already seen all of these, go to this one. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.